What's up, smarty people? It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com, coming to you live and in a living color from the Radio What Studios. And this is my podcast, What Makes You Smarter? It's an extension of the RadioWhat.com internet radio station that I've been running for quite some time. And if you need DJ services, where do I always send you? DJLittleRock.com. One more time, DJLittleRock.com. Check availability and get a free price quote, and maybe you could have me at your next event. You know I like to party with the people. Also, if you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. Now, on with the show. Today on the program, the U.S. military used camels to explore the Southwest. As the United States expanded westward in the 19th century, the American Southwest began to take shape. But the desert environment was unfamiliar to the colonists, many of whom hailed from Europe and inhospitable to their pack animals. In 1836, a U.S. Army lieutenant made a novel suggestion to import herds of camels who were accustomed to rough terrain and could go without water for a week or more. The idea was initially dismissed, but was revisited when the Mexican-American War ended in 1848 and Mexico ceded 55% of its land to the United States, including desert regions in what's now California, New Mexico, Nevada, and Arizona. Congress approved funding to bring over a herd of camels in 1855 and a Navy vessel that had been outfitted specifically for camel care sailed to the Mediterranean and spent the next five months acquiring 33 of the beasts. The ship unloaded 34 camels in Indianola, Texas. One adult camel had died, but two out of six calves born on the voyage survived. The group was known unofficially as the Camel Corps. The camels proved the most useful on survey missions, helping to explore the region's harsh climates and scout locations for roads. They even proved to be great swimmers, crossing the Colorado River more successfully than the horses and mules traveling with them. On one mission, camels even led survivors to safety after the traveling party got lost in the Mojave Desert. The experiment, while considered successful by those who actually worked with the camels, was largely abandoned during the Civil War. Over the years, many animals were turned loose, and it was not unusual to see rogue camels wandering around the American deserts for a time. One of the most notorious camels of the era, the Red Ghost, roamed the Arizona countryside until 1893. How about that? Here's some more tidbits of information for you. Most recorded humps on a camel. Four. Global population of the wild camel species, 1,050. Year Arizona and New Mexico were admitted to the United States, 1912. Median life expectancy in years of a camel. 17.8. Here's even more for you, because I like you. The Camel Corps was championed by Jefferson Davis. When the idea for the Camel Corps was first floated by the Army, it had a champion in the Senate who helped secure funding when he became Secretary of War, Jefferson Davis, who later became President of the Confederacy. He envisioned camels not as an invaluable part of surveying teams, but rather as a tool to drive indigenous peoples off the land to make room for southern settlers. This intention wasn't lost on the American public, and Davis regularly denied accusations that the Camel Corps was a pro-slavery plot. Southern plantation owners starting using camels in their fields, and some historians suggest the camel trade was used as a ruse to transport enslaved people across the Atlantic. Way to end on a downer. That's a little bit about the U.S. military used camels to explore the Southwest. This has been What Makes You Smarter. 
If you'd like to tell your story or hear the stories of others, I encourage you to check out my other podcast. It's called What Makes You Famous. Find it everywhere using the hashtag What Makes You Famous. That's it for this edition of What Makes You Smarter. It's Keys Dan, RadioWhat.com, DJLittleRock.com. Peace. I'm out of here.